Today is the official opening of the WESIS Plus 10 high-level event. Government national representatives and delegates are here today to negotiate two key documents, the WESIS Statement on Implementation of Outcomes and the vision for WESIS beyond 2015. But the focus today is on the WESIS prize ceremony. The prizes are an integral element of the WESIS process. Back in 2004, it was decided that it was important to reward projects deemed to be putting into practice the WESIS agenda. Yaroslav Ponda is Strategy and Policy Advisor for the Corporate Strategy Division of the ITU. We are on the annual basis also offering uh, the special international contest of the excellence in the implementation of the, uh, in the field of the action lines in order to make sure that uh, the, uh, the best projects and the nicest projects are becoming the good reference point uh, for other stakeholders and maybe the good platform for sharing the best practices. Uh, we are inviting all stakeholders, therefore, uh, to pay very much uh, of attention uh, to uh, this platform uh, as the unique opportunity uh, to share their expertise and share their knowledge uh, at the global level. And we hope to welcome all of them at the World Summit on the Information Society Forum in 2015. <laughs> We caught up with some of the proud winners and found out about their inspiring, innovative projects. We're so proud to be here today and we're so proud to be uh, among the winners. Uh, we're one of the 17 winners. Uh, the program was integrated in 2012, very early 2012, and it was uh, set to deliver the vision of the country, being the leader in, in almost every field. Uh, one of the important fields which our government foresee was the education field, and they wanted us to be number one in the world in education. Hence came the idea of, uh, of uh, transforming the education system from what it was in the past to what it is now today on, in the field, on the ground, with our schools, within our schools and, and with our students and, and teachers. Uh, it took us a very long time uh, in terms of hard work and, and dedication and preparation to be where we are today. Uh, of course, education transformation is not an easy job. It takes ages, you know, it takes decades to change. We wanted to foster the change and boost it up by the introduction of technology. Uh, everyone wants to transform the education in their countries, but what we did in UAE was to get the support and help of ICT, the Information Communication and Telecommunication Infrastructure, Services and Technology, to boost the transformation of education. What was the outcome that was most important for WSIS that led them to give you this prize? I think it is the use of ICT uh, to deliver uh, information, to improve information access. And uh, second important thing is uh, because of ICT, uh, use of ICT, this efficient uh, delivery of healthcare services to the underserved communities, especially the illiterate women uh, who sometimes do not have access to such healthcare information systems. And this project uh, is a rural telephony project. A lot of them are completely blacked out anyway. They don't, they simply cannot receive because there are a number of communities in a black town. They cannot receive calls. Also because of the, their position. Some are within valleys, some are behind mountains. So it's not very economical for the telecom companies to really take months there and drive in there to, to manage the system, refueling and making sure that the power is working. And when there's power outage, then they, they, because of those problems, they simply will not go in there. And this project has come to lift up the lives of those people. They were completely cut off of the communication society. You must be very proud and happy that you've managed to make such a positive yes, impact. We are very happy and we are glad we have been recognized uh, by institutions outside our country, international institutions. Ah, the prize, you know, uh, it's very uh, motivating when you have a prize and uh, it will give us uh, some uh, recognizing uh, of, uh, for this efforts we did about uh, this event we organize every year and we hope uh, we will be able uh, this year uh, 2014 to present our uh, imagination and our uh, 
idea about uh, after uh, 2015. In our next update, we'll be focusing on the high-level negotiations which conclude tomorrow. Until then, you can see all of our interviews on the ITU YouTube channel.